Part two of designing a tattoo, shape, size, and location. Size versus location tattoos. Welcome back guys. My name is Wesley. I've been tattooing since 2006 here in Des Moines, Iowa. For those of you just joining us, this is our tattoo series where we talk about tattoo questions that you as a client thinking about getting a tattoo might have on your mind. So today with um, shape versus location tattoos is kind of a question people get. Um, one of the things you need to consider when getting a tattoo is the location you're thinking about putting it. Um, point in case, I had somebody here very recently who wanted a motorcycle tattooed on them and they wanted the side profile of it, something that you could see the hole from one end of the bike to the other and they wanted it horizontally wrapped around their wrist. And as I explained to them, that wouldn't really quite work as well because by the time we had it wrapped all the way around their wrist for the size that they wanted, that the tires would probably either overlap or be touching them each end. Um, so we ended up turning it 90 degrees on their arm where a much more elongated position you could, that person could show it off a whole lot easier versus twisting their arm. Um, so when, yeah, when thinking about your locations, you need to think about basically your two shapes that we kind of work with is your more circular shapes or versus an oval shape. Oval shapes are gonna be a lot more easily seen from on one face of your body, especially if it's a limb, um, where the circular shapes are kind of safe for, you know, maybe the shoulder cap or the side of the hip or um, sides of the shoulders, things like that. Um, again, all of these shapes can be kind of warped and twist a little bit depending on the imagery that you're working with. Um, but for the most part, kind of keeping in mind that horizontal pieces versus vertical pieces um, and how they correlate to the position on your body. Uh, everything generally should be flowing downward so that it's when you're standing normal, everything's very easily readable and visible. Um, if you have to lift a body part up to show it off, such as the inside of your arm, your bicep, generally something would be turned 90 degrees so it's easily visible for the person that you're showing it off to. Um, as far as size correlates with those shapes, you, it's generally a good idea to, if you're thinking about a specific area of your body, such as your arm or your shoulder cap, um, any a pec maybe, um, that, that shape really comes into play when you're filling up the entire area of the tattoo. So that's something to really consider if you're working on filling up in a certain, say, puzzle piece of your body. Um, that's a good way that we would like to look at it. Um, it's definitely something we enjoy doing is trying to fill up that entire edge and think about the shape. So what we can do around the edges is a big deal for what we can do with your tattoo also. So um, again, all of this comes back to your design and the artist that you're working with. Um, it's just a good thing to think about when you're planning your tattoo. Is this the tattoo going to look really good in this particular spot with the flow of my body? It's always a good thing when you're talking with your artist to ask them these questions yourself. And I hope some of this information is helpful for you guys when you do sit down and think about some of these tattoos. So uh, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please give us a like and subscribe. Um, check back with some of our other videos and we'll see you guys next week.